Hey Chad, German here. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a kick 90 with the uh, bender, the foot bender there. So this is a 90 with a kick. Yeah, there's a couple ways to do it. Some guys, uh, let me show you the way a lot of guys do it real quick. And then I'm going to show you a quick way that I learned uh, back when I was a journeyman from a master electrician. Um, and I've, I've used it ever since. So, and I've taught this to tons of people. And you know, it's cool to see apprentices and stuff and learn things that I learned when I was in a journeyman to kind of give them tools and have that be part of their, their arsenal. Okay, how many of you guys do your bends like this, where you have your level on the front of the 90, and then you have your tape measure, and you're trying to get to that perfect height uh, by doing it like this? And it's, of course, as you use bigger pipe, this is a bigger challenge. This is half inch, so it's easy. But you're gonna go like this, and then you're gonna check, your, check how high it goes, a little bit higher. And you put the level on there, make sure that everything's good. Then you go even higher. See, that's a way to do it, and that's how most people do their kick. Okay, so the way I was taught to do it, um, it's, you have to have a little bit of a basic understanding about pipe bending in general. So if you're going to do an offset, and you're going to do 30 degree offsets, you, you know that the math is you multiply, you multiply by 2 to get your offset heights. It's going to be the same thing here. You do it the same as you would an offset. So I'm going to take my measurement. I just take this uh, five inches. So I get my pipe there. And from this back 90, I measure out uh, 10 inches because I was going to do a five inch lift. So I can go like that, put it there. And now with my kick, I put it on my arrow and I can lift this up at a 30 degree bend, okay? So I know that I can do a 30 degree bend and that my multiplier is two and that's gonna put me right at five inches. So I also know that right with my handle on my bender is um, straight up and down is um, my 30 degree bend. That's something I've learned over the years as well. So you can see there I can measure this. I'm at five inches, let's just make sure by putting the level on. Kind of a cheap level I just got out of the, the bookstore here at the school. And I'm at five inches that leveled up. So you can see by just knowing the basic math that um, my offsets, uh, if you're gonna be uh, 22 degrees or you're gonna be a 10 degree, whatever degree you're gonna do, you're gonna multiply that by what you would do with a, a normal uh, foot bender for an offset. But you're going to do it just on this back bend, so I do 30 degrees. The only time you wouldn't want to do 30 degrees, say you want it to be a little bit closer to this 90, like right here, you would want to do uh, more of a steep kick and you would use uh, more of a dramatic uh, bend, uh, like a 60 degree or something of that nature. So hope that helps you guys out.